Hello and welcome, Katie here. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am excited to be back with another project for Missing Stamps. And today I'm using uh, some a stencil to do some mixed media stenciling. Wasn't sure exactly how to label this video, uh, but we're gonna do uh, mixed media cards uh, using one stencil and a sentiment stamp. So the stencil I'm going to use is the Floral Wave Offset Stencil from Missing Stamps. I've got some Elements ink pads from Lavinia, but I'm going to give you some other brand combinations uh, in case you don't have the Elements ink pads. Blending brushes, hot press watercolor paper uh, is what I'm going to use. I'm going to start with the A two size card panel. This one I cut down to four by five and a quarter coming in with mermaid uh, and it's a really strong color so uh, I'm trying not to use too much of it but I want to keep it deep up you know one end and then kind of fade and blend it out um, you know towards the middle end uh, so that I've got a nice color fade with the lime punch that I'm going to come in with here in just a second. So Lime Punch is really a really vibrant yellowy green color. I love it. Now, if you don't have Elements ink pads, you can go ahead and use Twisted Citron, Peacock Feathers, and Chip Sapphire in Distress Ink. I'm not sure you're going to get the same effect with the oxides because that's more of a chalk uh, color. Uh, so definitely go with just a regular Distress Inks. Now, if you don't have Distress Inks for some reason, or you don't have all those colors, you could do Versifying Claire in Verdant, Warm Breeze, and Twilight. Now, I haven't shown the darker color, the Chip Sapphire, and the Twilight. Um, I'm going to use Dark Denim for um, my dark blue in the Elements line. But the Twilight or Chip Sapphire will work uh, as a dupe for your uh, dark denim. So I got that all blended together. Now I'm coming in with my Floral Wave Offset Stencil. And I'm going to use a fine detail blending brush with that dark denim. So this is where you would put your Chip Sapphire or your Twilight uh, Versafine Claire. Now I'm using, I'm starting off with this smaller, more um, concentrated detailed blending brush because I want it to be nice and strong there where the flower is, the floral part is, and fade it out. Now my hand starts to get tired because I'm trying to fade it out with that little brush. So I end up coming in with a, a makeup brush. Um, I use makeup brushes regularly when I'm ink blending. I um, have eyeshadow brushes that I use. And in this case, I'm going to come in with a flat kabuki. I'm going to show that here right now. And um, this is what you use to put foundation on and it works really well. It gives a nice soft fade out, um, which is what I was looking for from, um, you know, from our center there. And of course it covers a bigger surface. Um, so it worked out really well. Now I'm using hot press watercolor paper. This is Strathmore 500 series. Um, any hundred percent cotton, hot press watercolor paper is going to work. I like the Strathmore because it's affordable. Now, um, I've got repositionable adhesive on the back of my stencil, so I'm being careful. You can see I kind of tore the paper a little bit, so just be mindful if you use repositionable adhesive on your watercolor paper that that can happen. We're going to cover that up, so no worries there. Now, I'm coming in now with another makeup brush. This is a tapered kabuki and using Lime Punch and starting with the center. As you can see, I just changed the location of my floral image. We're going to change it again when I go and put the cards together. But fading out the Lime Punch there from the center, and now I'm going to come in with Mermaid and blend that till I'm happy with the color uh, that I was looking for, and then we'll take that stencil off. Now, the reason I was able to, and well, the reason I did to a one size cards, which is this panel and the next one coming up, is because when I cut my A2 size down, I had a piece that I wasn't going to be able to use on an A2 size card, so I cut that in half. Um, so the panel for the A1 size measures two and three eighths by four inches long. So just so you have some size measurements, I'll have all that in the description box below and also on the blog post over at Missing Stamps um, if you're looking for that, as well as the color combinations as alternatives to the Elements ink pads. 
So now I'm doing the second panel. Um, I started, I thought I was filming. I started with that line punch coming in again with the mermaid. And once I get that on, uh, and I didn't want too much mermaid, um, but just enough, but I'm going to come in with that dark denim and, uh, the kabuki brush there and, and blend that around. And it creates the prettiest teal turquoisey green i just love it i love this color combination uh, i have another video that'll be coming out with imagine um using that verdant warm breeze and uh, i actually use paradise for that one but um so paradise will work too if you don't have twilight um, so once i get this all blended up i'm going to remove that stencil and I do want to mention, I do clean the stencils in between each one because I don't want the color contamination. And here they are all done. And now we're going to grunge it up. So got some sheer shimmer sparkle. You can use Perfect Pearl in water in this as well. If you don't have uh, the, have the sheer shimmer sparkle spray. And now I'm coming in with some irresistible texture spray. This is from Imagine. And using Wedding Dress silver and paris dusk i bought these specifically to splatter with i had no desire desire to spray with them um so i couldn't recommend them more for splattering honestly and the one thing you'll see is i've got some big splotches in that silver we're going to cover those up with the sentiment so don't worry about that it happens. You know what? Splatters splatter and you can't control it. And here I am doing a little bit of controlled splattering by manually dip, you know, dropping my um, sprayer thing into onto the, the carb panel. So everything's dry. Now I want to create a backdrop for this particular panel onto the card, the one of the A2 or A1 card bases. So this is creative medium. This is... Um, a shimmer texture paste, if you will. Uh, if you don't have this, you can use some gel medium and either Perfect Pearls. You could do your Pearl X uh, Interference Gold because it's going to give a gold shimmer when you you know shine it in the light. Or you can just do like the macro or micro pearl. Pearl X and mix that in um, so that you can have a, like a tone on tone. Pearl white for the Pearl X would work also. And so piecing everything together, double-sided adhesive all around, and these sentiments come from the everyday sentiments. And I've um, layered those onto a piece of Star Dream Metallic Lapis Lazuli cardstock. So um, that dark blue, and it gives a little subtle shimmer to that. And here are the cards finished the can the video the photos do not give these enough shimmery justice uh, i just love how these turned out and i hope you did too if you did please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel be sure and check the description box below and follow along over at miss ink stamps facebook group and share what you guys are making we'd love to see what you guys are doing products used will be in the description box below and i want to thank you so much for joining me today i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll catch you in the next video